So Central C is actually signed to ADA, mm -hmm. right? Now, their whole conversation, again, went to know, well, people kind of say he's independent, but he signed to something. Well, he's not signed to, to Warner or any major directly. ADA is a distributor up under Warner, though. Yeah. Right? And to me, this actually just speaks to the reality of music today. All right? Because the reality of music today is, yo, the distributors are record labels, but they're better positioned record labels, mm -hmm. right? They're better positioned because of the branding you can put on it. Oh, artists, you get a better deal than you normally would. But it's also better positioned because I can invite you in without having to take the same level of risk. And then I could just cherry pick the people, you know what I mean, that, that look like they're going to be a little bit more successful and then build a relationship with them, right? Now, him being signed to a distributor, of course, he does still control more things, but I think that's just the nature of the game today and independent almost should be washed away. Or we should clearly define independent because to me it's so much marketing language versus the reality of what this is. I don't think independent means today what people originally meant when they said independent. Yeah. Like it literally means today independent of a major label. Independent of a major label. Yeah. But there's a billion other entities <laughs> out there yeah. that you can be in partnership with and you are still signed to them, right? Even labels, if you're signed to a major, it could be the same deal and they just call it a partnership. Why? Because that shit sounds better on paper. It's better for your ego, but the numbers work out the same if I just signed you, right? All of this stuff, eh, I don't, I don't really buy into it. But Central C being independent, is he technically independent? Sure. Let's let's stick with that, right? He has a distributor, of course. He has some infrastructure management team in their building, and they're doing a hell of a job. Right. I don't think technically independent or not matters outside of the narrative that people want to push to inspire the indies or to keep the indies trapped in, depending on which side you on. Right. Yeah. yeah. I mean, and I think that's what it comes out to, man. Like we on the other side of it, of the, the, the indie artists, you know, propaganda push, you know what I'm saying? Like we've been strong components of it, you know, like, well, we've been pushing the narrative for yeah. the last couple of years. We benefit from it. And yeah. I think that's just how a lot of these music companies look at it, bro. Like, hey, the, cause what independent, the, the bigger the independent artist community grows, the bigger the independent labor community grows, right? There can be more distribution companies. There yes. can be more marketers like us, right? There can be more yes. publishers and these different people. So yeah, we gotta sprinkle it on a couple of things, make it look sexy to keep people wanting to stay in that space because once again, like I said, I look at indie now as independent of a major label, right? Not even just from an artistic standpoint, but just from a resource standpoint, right? Like I'm able to go and get these things despite you, right? Yeah. Despite what you have control of and what you can make happen with, with your thing, which is a good thing for the market overall, but I still see it that way, bro. It's like literally like, hey, like we have to keep doing things and saying things and putting this label on certain people that encourages the community to look at it that way because of, it benefits everybody. And like I said, I don't think that's a bad thing, but that's just reality, you know? Like I'm 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 stringing the the indie artist narrative for as long as it can go because if it wasn't for indie artists, would we have an agency, you know what I'm saying? Would we be making this channel if every artist was tied to that type of institution and couldn't uh, we'll probably we would find a way, but Yeah, we we would be with the labels much. we would contract through them a lot more. Yeah, a lot more. Now. Yeah, exactly, but you already know what. Yeah, well, I'll try to. Yeah, try to keep to. away from that. Minimize <laughs> that as much as possible. But it makes it easier for us to do that because of the indie yeah. industry. The indie market buzz. Yeah, so I think, like, yeah, you're going to have these really blurry situations where, like you said, the, the narrative is a lot stronger. Hey, he's independent, so he must be doing all this by himself and X, Y, Z. And like, oh, we want to support him because he's the underdog competing against this major later act, and you look at him like, man, bro, he got more, well, not him specifically, but that particular artist got more resources, 
maybe even more attention, more hands on than that major label artist yep. that you're looking That's at. That's where we get to the point right there. <laughs> Let me take a quick second to say if you're an artist trying to blow your music up, or if you're a manager, a music professional in general trying to help an artist blow their music up, I have something that's a game changer for you, and it's completely free. As you may know, we've helped multiple artists go from zero to hundreds of thousands of streams. We've helped multiple artists go from hundreds of thousands to millions of streams, chart on Billboard, go viral, all of that stuff. And we've now made the way we've branded multiple artists and helped them go viral completely free, step by step in Brandman Network. All you have to do is check out brandmannetwork.com. You apply. It's completely free. But the thing is, we're not going to let everybody in forever. So the faster you apply, the better your chance of getting accepted. Brandmannetwork.com. Check it out. Back to the video. Yeah, because to be a superstar on a in a situation like that, you're not going to get treated any differently than a, a major act on a major label. But gonna, they, you are the major act there, but you're getting that same treatment. Anything yes. you want. Even if it's outside the parameters of what that company typically does, but I've seen it. I've seen it for certain clients where it's like, hey, we don't usually do this, but yo, <laughs> shit is going so well over here with this person that we gonna do whatever we need to do to make this happen for him. Mm -hmm. And in that situation, what's the difference between the label? You know what I'm saying? The company that only promised you distribution for 10 and 20% is now willing to get you investment and now willing to get you certain looks, now willing to help you build out your team, your infrastructure and all these other things. Like, what's the difference at that point? You know what I'm saying? Ah, listen. So independent, me man, to me, <laughs> independent of major labels. It's all ours. Say which I think. Yes, I think we should stand on that definition because that will make the conversation a little bit, uh, a little bit more tepid. You know what I'm saying? Like this conversation gets hot because people, people feel a certain way about it, bro. Are like, there gonna be people who are gonna see this? They're like, oh, Central Cities and Indy, because you got a distribution company helping you. And it's like. I mean, you're not wrong and you're not right. Like, what about all the other things you have to go figure out? You know what I'm saying? Like, these one entities don't necessarily become the 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 most, like, they're not always the most, like, game-changing elements of everything. Sometimes they're a stepping stone to help you put together the different components that you need to put together that make the game-changing situation for you, right? Like, that situation, I and like I said, I don't know, just speculating here, but let's just say that's a situation that allowed him to, make money to then go pay like his content team or something right and then yeah. that's the situation and those those content pieces popped him up on TikTok or something like that right it's like it becomes more about like the pieces of the the big picture that leads to the success rather than like oh you just had this big corporation behind you because we've seen it that that doesn't always mean anything, right? You can be tied to some of the biggest entities in music and nothing happens. Plenty of artists have failed that have so many. not been quote unquote independent. But I think I personally just want to encourage artists to understand business and do good business. Yeah. Because the independent conversation is even a distraction of sorts to me. All right. All of these things that you get see, all of these things that you see get pushed a lot. Let you know that there's some agendas behind it. Yeah, bro, right? Marketing, bro. It's, it's always marketing. Like, oh man, everybody's indie, 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 indie. Why do I see this so much? Because it's speaking to a certain message and it's encouraging a certain marketplace to flourish that I can capitalize off yeah. of. That's simple. Exactly, bro. You got to always look at who's pushing it. And like I said, not to a bad degree. Like, I was willing to admit that, hey, we pushing it because. It's much easier doing business with an indie artist than it is doing, you know what I'm saying, business with a major. I want more indie artists to be have major label budgets so we can, you know what I'm saying, move to that process. Oh, yeah, for you know definitely that. I just think that people get so caught up in this language stuff versus the actual mechanics behind it all. Yeah. Like, what's actually happening? Make sure something different is occurring because if you're in a old school bad deal, but you use the language independent and the label that's working with you says yeah you're independent why does it matter mm -hmm. all right because you're still in that bad deal all right if you're in a good deal and people think you're signed why does that matter all right outside of pushing the marketing message and then saying i want to brand around independence like chance the rapper did heavily and that but you know that becomes something that you can capitalize off of so you have this reason and agenda all right to make sure people see it in that way, right? So, I don't know, for me, I think that when we get into this indie shit and the way people talk about it, 
is really based off of old indie, which is why it's best to differentiate specifically, like you said, independent of a major label. All right. Not independent of help. All right. And we get into DIY. Do it yourself. No, you not do it all yourself. Right. You have to go into partnerships in this music industry in some no, form of fashion. Some piece of the pie. Some piece of the pie. You're not going to have the entire vertical yourself. Even if you have a marketing team, a content team, um, PR, like team. PR team and all that stuff, you might get to a label. I mean, a level like let's just say you're on Beyonce says level. You can create your own distribution company and all that stuff. So you're earning owning that entire vertical. But even then, there still ha have to be partnerships to get on these Spotify playlists or whatever, right? Or and deal with those people to work with, let's say, Live Nation. There's always going to be some type of partnership that comes into space in music and the entertainment industry, the way it's built out. It kind of just has to be. It, so if anything, let the idea of independent me more so. Just understand the business, understand what you are, I don't even want to say what you're worth because people take that <laughs> and they run with it and it'd be the wrong number. But understand like what leverage looks like <laughs> in a business, you know what I'm saying? And also make sure that you get as much of an entrepreneurial spirit that makes sense for you, right? So you might want to build heavily and own a whole thing, but there's some people who don't want to even work like that. Right. And and own the system and have all that rely on them. And that's fine. And they both can make a lot of money. Mm -hmm. All right. But is Central C independent by the ignorant indies opinion? No. By an experienced old school label perspective. No, as well. By someone in the middle, <laughs> someone in the middle who's more moving in this new space. Yes, he's indie in terms of an independent of a major label. But you'll hear the old folks like they're like, oh, no, because this is exactly the same shit. <laughs> so, you're not. <laughs> they would be like, I, I remember when Chance was like, oh, indie, indie, indie. And he didn't have the deal. But all the people who knew the business, they were like. What are you? What is he talking about? This is the exact same shit. You can't get here without this type of partnership. This type of partnership. Yeah, he doesn't have a major label, but literally, it's the same thing in a different house. Mm -hmm. All right, so you know, what I mean, same meal with all the no. Let's get different plate, all the fixings. <laughs> <laughs> so y'all take that as y'all will, man. You want to be, you want to make India part of your brand. You care. Just make sure your business is right and you can sleep at night. Let's go with that one. Yeah, bro. Just know if you're using that for marketing, or you you truly trying to do it. Yeah, all the way. Nah, all the way. Yeah. I don't think y'all want to see what it's like all the way. All oh, this is stressful all the way. <laughs> you know it's a lot of a lot of early gray hairs. You know what I'm saying? A lot of you know four hour sleep nights. And right, right. No four hour work week. Four hour sleep <laughs> night. Now, with that being said, also, same conversation, similar conversation. 